of the Lord. I love the Holy Spirit. He's everything to me. This is his son. And so Abraham journeyed with God. And he accumulated a lot of things. And then he took a wrong turn. that I mean what I mean I will establish my covenant agreement God established his agreement with fire on the altar of sacrifice he said now as a sign circumcised you see something God will never leave you he will never forsake you. He will never leave you where you are. God tell you no it and lost it. Say stem rupio. I say extend by the dear. And I clock. You know how you may work. It will uncom. And he heard for every one of us beloved gegeven. Elke een van ons. Ik heb gezegd, die ja, gaat met niks mij terughou. Van dit wat die Heer voor mij gebeloof het. Halleluja. God het mij iets beloof om trend zijn vier. Halleluja. God het mij iets beloof om trend die vrijlating van die mensen in Afrika. God het mij iets beloof. Hij het gesê, ek is in staat om die mensen van Afrika te red. Halleluja. Ek is in staat om die siekes gezond te maak. Ek is in staat om die blinde sy hoog op te maak. Ek is in staat om haar moeder uit te drijf. God sê, I am able over the years, I try to do it myself. Projects, programs, even crusades. I don't do so much crusades unless the Holy Spirit tells me. Crusades, this, this, people call, come, 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 come. What I learned, God says, no, it's not going to be with your might, your strength, but it's by my spirit. I said, God, what must I do? He said, repent. Get your life cleaned up. Get yourself in my faith. Lay before me. Lay everything on the altar. Abraham had to lay everything down. He had to empty himself from himself. And God said, when you have prepared the way, I will arrive on the sea. This five days is part of the preparation. God says, blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm. Call the solemn assembly. Sanctify your pastor because I'm about to move and restore my people. And he said, I will pour out my blessings. I will pour out the letter and the former rains in the first month. So in Joel chapter 2, and the barns will be full and the vats will overflow with new wine. Hallelujah. And I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Yeah, you know, it's the time. They're looking for the answer. It says, it takes no from God, man. Hulle soek vir die anwoord. Ons het nou net gehoor, Pastor Prins sê, hulle skiet, hulle skiet, hulle skiet. Daar is die duivelse machte wat die mense so dring om moed te doen en kraan te doen. Maar ons dank God, ons het die wapens van die jaren ontvang. Dis tyd dat ons opstaan. Dis tyd dat ons op ons in die heer kom. Dis tyd dat ons vaas en kut. En die duivels hy drijf in die machtige naam van Jesus. I said, God, there must be something wrong 
if we are having church and there's so much going on my wife said to me the other day the young people that here they said we can't come to the church because they're shooting they're shooting they're shooting and the first night of this crusade my wife took the van and she drove right in there in the mongrel stronghold and she said they're gambling there and she got out of the van and she said to the young people come because Jesus has got something for you it's time to arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon us and if we must die for Jesus may it be so to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord hallelujah glory to God Jesus Christ never came into this world to form another religion or another system Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil hallelujah give the Lord a hand of praise So wherever he is, man. I said, he flitches. We open up a bit and fast to the devil's eye. That's it. And in the name of the year, we open up a few people by each other. And put, put, put. Come on, drive the devil's eye. And in the name of the year. Come on, drive the devil's eye. Het een man niet gemeen onder die samen van die Jere. Hij zei: Ik heb nog nooit zoiets gezien. Hij zei: Zodat ik in leed die kracht van die Jere beweeg. Toen zie ik een zwart gedaante. Hij sprong die. Zie ik een vinniger als Hussein. Hussein balt. Hij sprong, hij balt die uit die tent uit. Weet je hoe kom? Because die duivel kan in die kracht van God staan. Halleluja! He's not afraid of our theology. He's not afraid of our aesthetics. He's not afraid of our presentation. Satan can do all those things, but he's afraid of the anointing of God because the anointing of the Lord will break. He breaks up that spider. Us can he stop it? Hallelujah! 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 In your tent, the Lord raised past the Eddie Edson up a few months ago last year. And we were preaching there in Beacon Valley. They shot eight people dead. I was preaching like this in the church there. And I said, Eddie, it's time you get all those pastors together and start praying. And you know, they prayed every night, every morning, 10 o'clock. And the Lord stopped that whole thing in Beacon Valley last year. You remember Beacon Valley? How they were killing and the Lord stopped that thing. And we went into the streets and we preached the gospel. And the people came out and the gangsters walked this way and that way. And I said, this is the answer. This is the answer. Jesus is the answer. But I want to tell you something. This devil is not to be played with. Because now Pastor Edson sent me a message. He's been sick. I said, he called the ministers all together in Mitchell's plane. And he asked some of the senior leaders to say something. He said, Chris, can you come say something? I said, all I want to say to you, Apostle Fabe and Barry Isaacs, all these guys. I said, one thing I want to say to you, that God wants to restore this man. Because God gave him something in his hand for the Western Cape, hallelujah, for our people. And that's why the devil is trying to take him out. And I said, the one thing we must do is try and pray and stand with him. Because the devil wants to shift him. Satan has addicted me. He's sick. He said to me, Chris, I can't even make it to come here. But the devil is a liar. I said, the devil is a liar. I said, the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. And that which God has promised us will come to pass. And if you've slipped up along the way, His grace is sufficient for you. This is the year of the triple grace of God. We will manifest this unmerited love to us. No matter what we do. Maak die sak wat ons goed doen met. As God gesê het, sê, gaat die company run. Het maak die sak, ek is vandaan die om vir jou te sê, het maak die sak, hoeveel keer jy geveil het nie? Hoeveel keer jy die Heere te leeg gestel het nie? Ek is hier om vir jou te sê, die beloftes van die Heere, as ja, en dit is aan nie. As jy 
Heere vir jou gesê het, sy gaat die siekes gezond maak, sy gaat duivels uitdrijf, as die Heere vir jou gesê het, sy gaat die talemen wees, as die Heere vir jou gesê het, sy gaat die prierke wees, sy gaat terke plan, sy gaat kousijds doen, sy gaat die evangelie preek, het maak is ek hoe lang gelede het gesê het, hy is nog altyd die selde God wat het gesê het, and it doesn't matter how many times you've fallen, it doesn't matter how many times the devil has stopped you and tripped you up, the promise of God for you and me is yes and amen. Just three things I close. Number one, Abram was obedient. He was gewissam. When God said, Abram, now uproot yourself. Move. He was comfortable in his father's house. They were very wealthy people. But God said, Abram, uproot yourself, go live in a tent, make yourself uncomfortable. I can imagine his wife must have moaned and said, well, my husband, but we are people of status. How can we go live in a tent? Vandag lag die mens jou uit. As die council die huise recht maak, daar bly die ander mens in die tent, hulle gee het nie van name. Hulle lach jou uit. Sy bly in die kontein. Hulle lach jou uit. Maar kijk nie, ek is jom vanavond vir jou te sê, God, sy kracht, kan in die kontein wees. Kan in die tent wees. Ek kan in die bos wees. Ek praat met die bergies en meisenberg. Ek sê, julle het ons een lekker leven, man. Julle het een bird's eye view van die julle sê, julle bly in die berg, man. Kijk die kossie, en ek het nou die ander dag vir die ander en gesê, koop my permit, man. Ek sê, jou, jou, my permit te koop, haal sy die goed is uit, en koop sy. Sê kom ons lekker lewe man Ek kan sê God eer, halleluja You see, where our minds have been Worked is poison That's why our people is paralyzed They can't move if the devil come and Hit them down with unemployment or whatever Closures, or whatever economic Decline, etc. They can't Move, some of them turn to the bottle Some of them turn to immoral Sex, some of them leave their families Some of them, uh, they do All kinds of things, uh, and that's Christian and non-Christian uh, And non-Christian, it's the Same thing Because we've made Everything look like a quick fix microwave gospel name it and claim it I also believe and name it and claim it but I believe if you didn't receive it you must press in hallelujah I believe if it takes you one or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten years you must press in hallelujah because with God nothing is impossible God said to me a long time ago, he said, Chris, what you're talking about so many years and so many years and so many years. He said, what you try and do in 18 years, I'll do in one day. He said, don't think that you've wasted your time, you've extended your energy. No, 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 no. He said, don't look at lost years. There's no lost years with God. Because as Abram became older, God strengthened him. Hallelujah. The Bible says he had no more hope. His body was dead. Sarah was dead. Uh, but the Bible says against hope, he hoped in hope. Hallelujah. He hoped in what? In the promise of God. Glory to God. So even if there's no hope, we must hope. In what? In the promise of God. Not in the things of the world. Of God. Number two, he was willing. If you're obedient and willing, Isaiah 119, you will eat the fat of the lamb. Obedient and willing. Because you can say, Hallelujah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And you don't move an inch. The Lord can tell you, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. You say, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. And you don't move an inch. The Lord can say, I want you to change your pillow. I want you to start praying from 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. I want you to use your money this way. I want you to get rid of all those things in your life. Pride, jealousy, envy, disappointment, hurt. Because people hurt us also. You say, yes, Lord. Yes. We even cry when we come to the table. But we're not willing to obey. Abraham said, yes, Lord. And I'm willing to walk this path. Doesn't matter what it costs me, Lord. Even if my friends laugh at me. Even if I've made a blunder. 
he had a baby out of wedlock. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to pursue Lord God. Good morning, church. We are so excited to come to you live from the Church of Restoration here in Otri. God is good and doing great and mighty works. And uh, we just want to remind each person that has sent their prayer requests that God is a faithful God. We serve a God of the impossible, a God of wonders, a God that turns situations around. And I'm so excited to sit with mighty men and women of God around the table in our tabernacle here in Otri. And so we're going to go through some of the prayer requests and pray with you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We have Sister Rita here this morning and she's saying, good morning, pastors and leaders. I need prayer. I'm going to hospital for chemo for cancer in my breast. Please pray. I am a widow for five years now. I'm in a financial situation. Um, I miss my husband. Please remember me and my family. I am a Christian, but I've, I've got so much struggles. Please pray for me. I need Jesus. I'm going to ask Elder Pat to pray this morning for Sister Rita. I'm just going to ask Sister Janine to sanitize the mic in the name of the Lord. And you know, the word of God declares when two or three of us together come and we have faith and we ask the Lord, so shall he release from heaven that which we are praying for. So let us connect our faith together as we pray for Rita this morning in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, we worship you, Lord. We honor you this morning, Father. Lord God, we unite our hearts this morning, Father. Lord God, you have heard the request of your daughter, Lord God. And Father, this morning, we commit Sister Rita to you, Father God. Father, you know our situation, my God. Father, this morning, we declare that you have given us life and life in abundance, oh God. We declare this day, oh God, that nothing is too hard for you, Lord. Father, we declare that you you will, Father, care for the widows. You will care for the orphans, my God. And Father, this morning, we declare, Father God, as a church, we stand upon your promises. We remind you of your promises today, my God. We remind you, Lord God, your promise which you have made to your children, Lord Jesus. We remind you that you are the great physician. And Father, this morning, we call upon your name, my God. We stand in the gap on behalf of Sister Rita this morning. Morning. Father, this operation, this cancer situation, Father, we declare it null and void. Satan, we bind your works powerless. And we declare that you will take your hands off Sister Rita's body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you today, oh God. We worship you today, Lord Jesus. Father, you will take her through this financial situation, Lord. And Father, you will, Lord, provide every need, Lord Jesus. Father, we declare that you are the God. You are the God of more than enough today, oh God. And as we stand upon your word, as we stand upon your promise today, Lord Jesus, we declare that we will see the miracle, Father. We will see your hand move, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you, and we say amen and amen, and we say that it is done in the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. End of praise. Thank you. This morning we want to also pray for Bombus, Brother Bombus. I need prayer for my life. I need restoration for my Christianity and all my affliction. There is a setback and backwardness and evil hatred spirit that makes everything to be against me, especially at my workplace. I even feel sometimes to resign because of my enemies. I'm going to ask Brother Eve to pray for Brother Bombus this morning. Let us join our faith this morning and trust that Brother Bombus gets his breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I pray for Brother Bombas, Lord. Yes, the devil is trying to intimidate us, but us, we are your son, brother. Brother Bombas came to you, he humiliated, he 
come in front of you, Lord, and he wants you to change him. He wants you to strengthen him. He wants you to help him to move forward with you. And Lord, you, you like when we came in to you and we came in to expose our, our weakness to you, Lord. Help him. Give him strength in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke every demonic attack against his life. Every spirit who are fighting his life, who are making him weak, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke it. Make a revival on his life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control. Let anoint him in the name of Jesus. Make Brother Bomba strength, strong, strong enough and to move forward with you. I know from today and the days are coming, he's going to be a mighty man of God. In the name of Jesus, I declare it. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for your hand this afternoon, this morning. Um, Brother Johan says that, can you please pray for us? We are going through hard times. We lost our jobs. We have been retrenched. We are waiting for money to come loose. We want to start a small business as soon as we receive it. We need Jesus to bless us so that we can start this business. Please pray for wisdom. We're going to ask Sister Janine to pray for Brother Johan and his family in Jesus' name. Father, we know you are great, Lord. And Lord, without you, everything is impossible, Father God. And Father, we say thank you, Lord, that you're so gracious and you're so merciful, Father God. And Lord, that you handpicked your sons, Father, and your daughters, Father God. And Father, we bring Brother Johan before you, Father God. His family before you, Father God. I pray that you will tear down every stronghold over this family, every undermining, jealous, envious spirit, Father God. The devil is looking for a gap, Father. But Lord, we pray that you will come and close up every gap, Father God. And Lord, that you will... The blood of Jesus will be against you, Satan. And Father, we pray this afternoon, Father God, that you will come and touch him, Father God. Give him wisdom, Father God. And for that you will open doors no man can close in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, that you will give them supernatural miracles, Father God. That you will give them signs and wonders, Father God. Make you the center of it all, Father God. And Lord, that you will move, Father God. That you will move and change the situation around, Father God. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Father God, that you will come through for this family. Lord, that you will touch them, Father God. Bless their children, Father God. Fill their cupboards, Father God. Fill their banking accounts, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, we say thank you, Lord. And we will not forget to give you all the honor and praise, Father God, because you deserve it, mighty God. And Lord, you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, Father God. And we before your throne, Father God, we say thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness, Father God. Thank you for coming through for us. Thank you for a new day for Johan and his family, Father God. Thank you for new positive directions, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. We also think of Kim. Sister Kim says, Beloved, I want to visit the ministry. Please give me directions and please pray for me. Sister Kim, our address is appearing on the screen below, our telephone number. Unfortunately for now, all churches are closed. However, when we do open the church, we will uh, post that on the channel as well. Let us pray for Sister Kim. I'm going to ask Pastor Danny to pray for Sister Kim this morning as she says that she needs prayer as well. Heavenly Father, we pray this morning, my God. We bring our sister Kim this morning before your throne, my God. And Father God, we know that there is nothing impossible, my God. And Father God, you are a God that can come and heal people, my God. We pray really for our sister Kim, my God. Father, we pray that our, maybe she not knowing you, my God, but through the power of the ministry, my God, that she will be saved and she need really direction my God. Father we pray in the name of Jesus that you will touch her now. Father we pray as the anointing flow through the airwaves my God. I pray for a special and a double anointing right now. Father we pray as she be moved through this ministry my God. We pray for every word. Father every ministry that was preached 
which anders drive we come my god we pray that you will move the now in jesus name father we pray that as you touch her father that she will be a blessing very soon my god father as the ministry will be open my god father we know there is nothing impossible my god and father god right now i pray that you will touch our sister my god in jesus mighty name father give her a heart for understanding my god for a heart my god that has been made with my god for the right purpose and follow god we give you all the glory and all the honor for this lady my god and father i release your power now over her right now in jesus mighty name amen this morning we also want to pray for sister sandy she says amen i need the anointing power of god in my life i need lots of prayer please pray for me i'm going to ask elder phil satoli to please pray for sister sandy this morning in jesus name Father we humbly present ourselves before your holy throne in the mighty name of Jesus your only son we bring before you father our sister sandy as you said to jeremiah father i knew you before i formed you in your mother's womb we know without a doubt father that you knew sister sandy before you formed her in her mother's womb father you know all her needs your son when he was in this world father said even before you start praying your father in heaven knows all all your needs you know all her needs father and there is no need that you cannot meet you are the creator of everything all silver is yours all gold is yours you own the cattle on a thousand hills you own everything that exists father and father as she seeks you father you are the one who is capable of turning adversity into an advantage for her life father you are the one who makes all things work together for her good because you are the one who provides only the best for her and when you created her father you had only the best for her open the doors for her father so that she can come into your presence you said before you left this world father you said you be able to do the same things that i have done in fact you be able to do greater things than these this technology that we are using father did not just appear you enabled this technology to be to, to come into this age father so that we can use your power to reach those who cannot be here physically and we declare father that you as we pray to you now you can reach sister sandy and touch her and her life will never be the same again father and one you have touched father we know will never be the same again and use her father to be a light where she is to be the salt where she is so that your name is lifted up to the glory of God the father in Jesus mighty name amen um as we pray this afternoon for um uh brother lebo brother lebo says that i have a financial problem i can't even sleep at night please pray for me let's pray for brother lebo this afternoon in Jesus name let us put on our father in the himmel here it has no man soos u van van more in die here here al die eer en die loof en die prijs kom u toe vanaand van more here here ons bring vir brother lebo voor u genade here here ons sny elke mag elke plan van more here wat nie van u af is van more in die here here ons breek die finances los here here elke bal elke iets wat moet gebetaal word here 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 kom maak die Here oop van die van die himmel van more Here Here sien om Here van die noord van die wes Here Here ons vra dit Here in die naam van naam van more Here Here sien om Here help om Here Here dat hy kan weet met u alles is moontlik van more Here Here hy nou sê vir u baie dankie Here dankie Here vir elke ketting wat u gaan losbreek van more Here Here die 
Di finances yara market up yara famora yara yara wanera tu negatif like yara yara nata ikan viet iyo sopi truan famora yara van iyo word se alles wat jy van my fra sal ek vir jy gee yara yara onstrek hy finances onder die bloed famora yara trek alles onder die bloed yara en ons snij die planne van die duivel af famora yara in die naam van Jesus naam yara in Jesus machtige naam Amen Amen Let's give the Lord a mouth to end up Amen. Amen. This is so good and I believe that God is moving and I believe that as we're connecting our faith that God's hand is moving. This morning we want to thank the Lord Louise all the way from Kenya. Amen. And she says that I've listened to you for years now and I'm blessed through the good and the powerful sermons that we are watching. What I need is your help so that I can start my own fellowship. Please pray for me for the Lord to help me to start my own fellowship here in Kenya. I'm willing to preach the gospel. Please pray for the Lord to open up doors. Sister Louise, don't worry. I want you to know that if God calls you, he will enable you. If God has called you, you know the word of God declares that we must make sure what our calling and our election is. Amen. And so if God has called you, he will not call you and not provide for you, my sister, but he will call for you and he he will call you and he will provide for you. Yeah. So let's stretch our faith towards Sister Louise from Kenya. Yes, Father in the name of Jesus, we thank you for Sister Louise and my God we declare Father that the word of God is all powerful, all knowing and God we declare your word of God over Sister Louise's life that says that you will provide every need according to your word and God I release that unto her this day. Father, I believe that you have called and chosen her, Father, to do your work. And Father, you will never leave us stranded. Father, we will pick up our whatever we have and find to do with our hands, Father, to do your work, my God. So come and bless Louise this afternoon. Enable her, my God, to do this great work that you have called her to do. And God, we cut off every plot and plan that would want to disrupt her, that would want to block her, my God, to do this mighty work that you have called it to do in the mighty name of Jesus. We release your anointing, Father, over her life to destroy every yoke. And my God, every word that she speaks, when she speech, speaks and preaches the gospel of Jesus, Father, that you will anoint her, Father, and people will get saved, Father, because of you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. We also see Brother Alvin here. It says, good day. My name is Alvin. Me and my wife lost our jobs due to COVID. We have a newborn and a six-year-old son. We don't even have food. We are struggling here. Can you please pray that God enables us and helps us in the name of the Lord? We're going to pray for Brother Alvin this afternoon. I'm going to ask Elder Pat to pray again now. Let's stretch our hands. You know, this is trying times. This is desperate times. And you know, sometimes we were just sharing a little bit earlier on of how when we focus on other people's problems, our problems problem seem quite much less than what the next person is going through. So let us let us pray for Brother Alvin and his family this afternoon in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Elder Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Father. We praise you. We honor you this afternoon, O oh God. Father God, we know that you are a God who will never fail us, O oh God. You will never disappoint us, Lord Jesus. And Father, as you have heard the request of Brother Alvin and his wife, his newborn child, O oh God, and his six-year-old child, my God. Father, they have needs this afternoon, my God. And Father, it is not your will that any of your children should suffer, my God. Father God, we declare this afternoon, Lord Jesus. Matthew 6, 33, oh God says when we seek the kingdom of God, you will add everything else to it, oh God. And this afternoon, Father God, we lose your resources over Brother Alvin this morning, Lord Jesus. We will lose, oh God, the favor this afternoon. We lose, oh God, the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ upon him, upon his household, oh God. Father, you will come back with a great and mighty testimony, oh God. Lord Jesus, you are a God who is owns a cattle 
miles on a thousand hills this afternoon, this morning. And this morning we say, Lord Jesus, you will provide, you will undertake, you will supply every need, Lord Jesus, because you are God, because you are almighty. And Jesus, we call forth the resources. We call forth favor upon his life, Lord Jesus. We pray, oh God, that you will send the person in to supply, Father God, to, Lord, to help him with his need, Lord God. Father, we pray that you would fill his cupboards, Lord Jesus. Fill his cupboards, oh God. But above all, oh God, we pray that you would fill his spiritual man, Father. You will strengthen his spiritual man today in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. We also want to pray for Charmaine. She says, good day. I'm from Mitchell's Plain. I need the Lord. Um, we are struggling with income. Please pray for me for income. We're going to ask uh, Brother Eve to pray for Charmaine this, this afternoon in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray for Charmaine, Lord. Charmaine is your daughter, Lord. And you create everything. And you are the one who create the world. You are the one who create money. You are the one who create everything who exists, Lord. And I declare money. I call upon money because you are the creator. Provide for your daughter in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every lack in the name of Jesus, Lord. We cannot lack. We cannot You never forsake us. Lord. you always with us. you always with us. You're fighting for us. And I know you're fighting for your daughters. Lord, open all the doors the enemies are trying to close in their life in the name of Jesus. Every finances I release it in the name of Jesus. Lord, provide for her family. Protect her. Help her to, uh, to fulfill all the, the, the needs she, she, would, she wants in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Shaman will never, never ask again because you, Jehovah Jireh, you will provide for her. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to ask Pastor Danny to pray for Brother Charles. Hi, my name is Charles. I'm from Malawi. I would like your prayers about my situation in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we bring the brother Charles before your throne, my God. Father, we know that there is nothing impossible. Lord, if it's hundreds of thousands of miles, my God. Father, you are a God of no distance. And Father God, as we release your power now over our brother Charles' life, Father, we pray that you will touch him. Father, we pray that you will turn every situation into joy, my God. And Father God, we release your power now over his life, my God. Father, every need it will be turned into joy. And Father, we pray as we anoint him to the heavenly spiritual realm, my God. We pray that he will be never the same again. Father, we release him now into your presence. Father, touch him now from his crown until his foot soles. And Father God, we release the power of God right over him now. And Father, we pray for a real and great response over his life in Jesus' mighty name. And we say, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, as you continue to send your prayer requests, we will uh, pray over them once more next month in Jesus' name. Let us pray. We want to pray. I'm going to ask all our leaders to just stretch our hands to the screen. And wherever you, you find yourself watching from this afternoon we want to pray the blessing of God to cover your life to rest on your life on your family on your workplace on your business place on your children on your family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I pray for every viewer this 
afternoon, my God. No matter where they they find themselves watching from. But my God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will release your blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, the blessing of God that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. I pray over every viewer, no matter where they find themselves, in the car, in the train, on the bus, wherever they find themselves this afternoon. I pray, Father, that you will stretch your hand and bless them. Undertake for them in every situation and circumstance in which they find themselves. I pray, Father God, that they will find the loving hope that is in you, Father God, in Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I release the anointing of God to destroy yokes in your life, yokes of bondage, yokes of evil, yokes of curses. Father, we bind this afternoon everything that's not of you over the, the viewers this afternoon. I pray, Father, for your blessing and protection upon their hands, upon their minds. Father, over their bodies, over their children, over their families, over their lives, my God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray that your anointing and your Holy Spirit will not be removed from their life and that you will go before them, Father, wherever they need to go. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. a destiny for each one of us. The most important thing he was on this earth for was to do the will of the Father. Help the poor, help the sick, help the needy, help the children, help the youth. Even if the oceans can be filled with all the sins of the world, Jesus' blood, one drop of his blood, can wash away all that sins. Hallelujah. It's time that we start walking in the anointing. Okay. Healing power is flowing here this morning. Deliverance power is flowing. They say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for every member of this congregation. Listen here, Jesus has got your miracle because Jesus knows what he has prepared for you. Hallelujah. It's not every person that can take a drunk and change him into a preacher. Hallelujah. It's not every man that can take a prostitute and turn this person into a lady. Hallelujah. It's not every person that can take a, a, a swearing, a, a rough fisherman and make them the apostles of his church. Hallelujah. It's not any man that can do that.